Canadian Jewelers starting lineup is Tom O'Neill. Veteran official is going to set it into the air. Connor Fry can jump and so can Jalen Moore. So the two fours will jump against each other and Fry slips into the backcourt to Marcel Davis and we're underway. Marcel many times brought it down the floor in this spectrum. Here's Fry around a screen going in deep and traveling That's with the ball as he got kind of in traffic a little bit had to move his feet. Well, he made a wrong pivot, started going to the right walk back to the left rather than pivot. So it's a turnover on the Utah Valley Wolverines to start the ball game. Aggies bring it up. Utah Valley in man-to-man -man defense. On the right-hand side, Perry dump it low. Posted up as Chris Smith. He falls away from 10 feet, and the guy contested the shot, banked it off the glass. Smith gets the rebound, spins back to the basket, goes in against Hamilton, and banks in ball. a circus shot for two. Chris Smith. That rebounder again. Chris had the career high. Double-double with the 11, uh, 10 points, 11 rebound game the other night. Down the middle, Hamilton. Over on the left to Marcel Davis. Davis around the screen. Davis down the point. All the way to the basket. Lay it up and good for Marcel. Marcel Davis. Yeah, it went, our switch man didn't go hard enough. Needs to go to the basket. 2-2 Two -two the score. Jalen comes up and shovels to Chris Smith. Goes back to more in front of their bench. More off the screen. 15 footer on the left wing. In and out. Heartbreaker. And there's Fry getting a rebound. Fry brings it up. Marcel Davis gets the pass and brings it down the rest of the way. Now Jackson out to Hamilton, top of the key. Carr's not much of an offensive threat for them. He can rebound the ball at six, their three-man spot. Here's a dribble dive again. Marcel on Elston. He oh, scores it Davis twice to the two. basket. Marcel Davis, it's 4-2. to two. Marcel had a 21-point game, which is still his career high against Western Oregon, playing for the You're Utah right State here. Aggies. Yeah, he wouldn't. Down off the screen, it's Perkins. Now Perry down the middle of Jalen Moore, covered by Fry. Lob the ball for Elston, gets it underneath, and catch and shoot. Good. You see that ball never came Perkins. below his head. Great job. Nice pass, though. Nice pass, Darius, and a great touch catch with those good hands, Elston Jones. Tied at four. Hamilton comes out from the basket. Goes out to Marcel. Marcel Davis on that wing left side. Hamilton dribbling the ball to the right-hand side, shovel the ball to Fry, and it's an illegal screen on Hamilton. As he passed it off, he put his four. Well, he, kind of a four yeah, he made the step, made, he made Hamilton the contact, first, and that's, uh, first team foul you've got to give him the step. So the offensive foul will be the second turnover of the game on the Wolverines, tied at four, and we're two minutes into this game. Good pace to it so far. Jalen Moore to Chris Smith on the left-hand wing, covered by Carr. Out it comes to Perry, he goes cross court, now Darius Perkins, now Moore, coming out as Elston Jones to get a top of the key. 15 to shoot, Elston to the left, tried to spin it down inside and threw it right to the Wolverines after he didn't have Chris Smith anymore. Jackson to the front court, he can shoot the ball, he fires it on the right wing, too long, and a rebound foul, a shove off on Connor Fry. Shoved away Jalen Moore on the play. Foul is on number 11, Connor Fry. Connor had 19 against BYU, he had 17 foul. against Great Falls, he had 15 and 12 against Denver. So he's had double figures in every game he's played. Yeah, he's 16 aggressive. the other night. Good aggressive player, having fun playing the game, it looks like. Oh, he did, like Coach Pope says, he's got the motor. Get it to Perry in the corner. Under the basket, goes to Chris Smith. Spin around on the big guy, put it up, and good! Off the glass Look again. The Another kind of fall away circus shot Chris under traffic. Smith. Well, he took, the, he took the hit. He just stood there, bounced off of him, good control, made it in. Now Carr on this wing. Down the middle, it goes to Hamilton, top of the key, Marcel. Beats his man on the left-hand side for a minute and then lost it. Gets back to Hamilton to drive down on Elston Jones and a holding call on Elston because he put his arms down. And if you keep the arms to the side or up, you'll Fouls be okay. But he put Jones. him down. The foul's on Elston his first. Common his foul out of bounds. Taipan trading. Of Big first day, of course. Aggies. Black Friday at Taipan trading. That'll be a great spot to get Connor your gifts. Fry and they inbound the, the ball and Fry dunks it. He's busy tucking in his shirt, talking to the coach, and uh, he gets a free lay-in. 6-6 six, six, the ball game now. Tied for the third time at 2, 4, and 6. Jalen Moore on the left-hand side to Smith off the screen, around the screen of Elston. He carries it all the way down, and it's an illegal screen on Elston Jones. So all of a sudden, Elston's got two fouls. Elston Jones. Yeah, he's in trouble His now. Second, he's wondering, head spinning. Second team foul. Elston's wondering Blue what he did wrong. High pass ratings in Logan Jones. again. What a store. Where great things are always in store, and of course, great spot on Black Friday. Great to shop. 6-6 six, six the score. So Lou Evans checks into the game, the junior out of Salt Lake City in Highland High School. Carr on the wing right side. Carr takes it out front. Marcel Davis gets it on the left wing. Davis a screen from Hamilton, goes around it. Now he goes to the corner of the key. Dumped to Hamilton, lay it in as Lou did not get back. Wow. Get back. There he is, Hamilton. Our post people are getting caught in between. Uh, they got to either kick, jump out hard or go with their man. Eight to six, Wolverines with the lead. Julian Perry top of the key. Jump pass back deflected, Davis steals. 
Marcel down the left side. Marcel take it all the way to the basket. Lay it off to Fry, who banks it Connor in. Fry Connor's assists. two baskets in the game. Marcel and the Davis. Wolverines Timeout, lead it by 10 to 6, and Tim Durier's not going to wait. He's going to call the coach's timeout, so this will be the media timeout. So 16-11 to play, and it'll be 10-6 Utah Valley, full timeout. This is the Aggie Basketball Network. Maybe at this point in the basketball game, it starts off that Utah Valley, again, might be outmanned as far as numbers, but they are leading the basketball game because they're playing right now. They're playing very well. The five guys are playing they're, better they're than our kind five. Of, yeah, they're kind of playing Tim Jury basketball. They're taking what we're giving them. And right now, I can't tell. I haven't seen enough of the game yet, but I can't tell whether we are jump uh, switching or whether we're going underneath, but we're leaving some space. Whatever, they're not. Whatever, not and they've the taken advantage of it. So again, explain what, okay, first off, Marcel drives the ball to the basket, nobody came over That's to help. That's a slip screen. And then, okay, then the next time, all of a sudden, somebody kind of penetrates, then they throw it back over the top to a guy who's wide Because he, he was gonna come he was gonna come and switch quick, and they dumped it over the other, they were waiting for the screen. Marcel didn't wait for the screen, he went right between the two guys, so. Somewhere in between, you've got to make up a mind. Same lineup for Utah Valley. Oh, they made a change. They have brought in Dan Goodman, Goodman yeah, out of Kearns High School in Salt Lake City. Hand off the ball, Chris Smith goes down the middle on Fry and lays it up, and he's got six. Basket the first Chris for the Aggies. 10 to 8 now, Utah Valley. Marcel to the front court. Up on that corner car, goes back out front to Fry. Backdoor cut to Marcel under the basket. He runs into Lou Evans, a blocking call as Lou got over there just late trying to take the charge. Well, he was under the line, too. He was too far under, so it doesn't matter what the contact was. So Davis is over the foul line. Shane Rector's going to come into the game probably to replace Darius Perkins here early. Davis will shoot two. Marcel's 11 of 17 on the year 65. Shooting two. He was never a great, great free throw shooter here at Utah State. Always around that. 65, 68% mark, and he misses right there. He's just turning the farm. Davis and Logan averaged seven and three assists first year, then 3.5 and 2.7 his second year. I thought it was interesting to see that he leads their team in steals and has already got one this game. And he misses both free throws, though. Still 10 to eight, Wolverines. Aggies rebound with Jalen Moore. Quickly, Chris Smith front court. Shane Rector in against the zone defense now of Utah Valley. So they switch to zone. That's interesting. Perry over on the left to Chris Smith, 17 to shoot. Smith back out front, straight Rector back to Smith on the left-hand wing with 14. Rector over on the right to Julian Perry. Now skip it, cross court to Chris Smith with nine to shoot. He skips it back over to Jalen Moore. Takes his man away, 15 foot on the baseline by Moore. No good tap, yes! Sweet the follow! Sweet move! Nice job by Lou Evans. Came all the way from the other corner, got a tip in. Fourth tie of the game at 10-10. 15-13 to play, first half. Goodman wanted to pass the ball to, on a cut to Davis. He gives it to him back out front. Now it's Carr. Hand off the ball to Fry. Fry backing in on Chris Smith. Dribbled it off his side and kept the dribble going. Now Goodman over on the left gives it off to Jackson. Jackson penetrates back to Goodman. A jump shot and a foul on the shot with two shots for Goodman. So he got a quick pass and he's going to put it up and Chris Smith got him on the arm. Foul is on Chris so Smith Chris with his, his first foul. 14 foul. foul. Aggies are starting to pile them up, yeah, and plus they're fouling in the end for three. Yeah, three of our shots to bid on shooting fouls. So Marcel's so over two. Now Goodman on the year is eight out of ten, so two he's shots. better at the foul line. Shoot it away, miss it. He's over for three. Back in for the Wolverines, three. number four, Darius. In was born in Indianapolis. Last year for Utah Valley, he's a sophomore at 6'7", 200. He averaged 1.3 points and 1.8 rebounds for Dick Hunsaker's team. Kind of weird to look at Utah Valley and not see Dick Hunsaker down there. I've been looking for him all day. Second one's good by their first free throws in 11 to 10. Again, you got to hand it to Dick Hunsaker, though, for starting this program and taking it through junior college into Division I. Yeah, he, he paid a dear price, too. He played some tough schedules for a couple of years. And he won the first year there in the WAC. Three-pointer Chris Smith. Drill! Chris Smith for three! Smith already with nine and the Aggies, 13. So it's 13-11, Utah State. The Aggies had a two-point lead a couple of times early. They got a two-point lead right now. Davis at the top of the key. Davis will drive into the paint in traffic and put it up, and they call a jump ball. Jump ball. Shane Rector had him tied up on the jump. Possession to the Aggies. will have it, so that'll be a shot miss. I guess maybe a block shot. I don't know what they'll call that on the stats. Says so it's a turnover, I guess, because that's three turnovers on the whole turnover. Unless it's a block shot on the shot, and then the Aggies get a team rebound. That's right, yeah. 
Still the zone defense for the Wolverines and trail by two now. Shane Rector lob it for a double kill on the score. Shane Rector. That's easy enough. You see, great pass. That is not easy to do, Al. And that's Shane Rector's style and best. Top of the key now, Hamilton's back in. Hamilton will hand to Davis over here to Carr on the right hand side. Flair the pass off and a handoff to Goodman. He goes back to Davis on the left wing with 14 to shoot. Marcel will penetrate again down the middle, dribble it, cut off in deep. Now he's got to pass it back on the wing to Carr with seven to shoot. Marcel wants it back in front of the bench on Shane Rector. He fakes, he drives, he puts it up over Rector. It's way short. We got a lot of block shot. Yeah, got a little touch on Rector actually leads the Aggies in block shots in deep. He got one extra pass to Taylor Moore. Take it away. Nice play under the basket by Jackson. Jackson brings it up the right side. Jackson on the right, still 13-11 uh, Aggies. Davis again on the left-hand wing. Yeah, Rector with his fourth block shot of the year leads the team. How about that? Is that true? Yep. Well, he's just a player. He's a basketball player. He does it all. Goodman gets it off to Jackson, back between the circles. The 10 to shoot to Marcel Davis. Now here comes Hamilton out the screen for him on the left side. Marcel penetrates the 15 foot level, shoots it, no, rebound. Lou Evans had it, lost it, picks it up, scrambles the pass off to Shane Rector. Rector runs out of the backcourt. Rector has it tipped away, runs into Jalen, but picks up the ball again. Now 25 to shoot. Aggies gonna set it up. Scoreboard says 15 to 11, that the Aggies with the lead and underneath the basket, a foul called on Hamilton or Goodman. Yeah, good. Foul to number 33, Dayon Goodman. His first 13 foul. Grayson Moore, Darius the Perkins. Aggies five four, four, and here's Grayson Moore checking in for Chris Smith. And then Darius Perkins comes at two guard, replacing Julian Harris. That's kind of the rotation on that guard line. Yep. has been true with that. Rector inbounds ball out to Evans. Luke goes to the flare pass to Grayson Moore. Grayson dribbles it off to Rector to set it up here with 25 to shoot. Rector around the screen from Evans goes in. He gives it back to Lou. They take it out of his hands, and they will take it and block it away. Utah Valley ended up with it as they had their quick active hands in there. They got active hands there. Looked, looked like there might have been a foul there. Now Carr gets it over to Marcel. And it back to Jackson. Jaden Jackson out front at top of the key to Hamilton. Hamilton flares it over on the left side to Marcel Davis working on Darius. Back it goes to Jackson. Jackson top of the key running shot from 15 as an air ball hook. Rebound comes down to Darius. Lead pass down to Grayson Moore in the front court. His three pointer on the left. He's good. Grayson Moore. Second three. They say he's been shooting very well in practice. Now it's 18 to 11. And we get a timeout for Utah Valley, which is near the media timeout. So it'll be a full timeout. So it's 11.56 to play. 18 to 11. Aggies with their biggest lead early. This is tonight's game. Sponsors brought to you is on the road to BYU today. That scoreboard update brought to you by Insignal. Insignal's in Logan, Green City, and Tremont. They're going to be ready for the holiday season. Lots of great opportunities for you to get involved, of course, with great things. Phones all, uh, boy, they can really help you at Insignal in Logan, Brigham City, and Tremont. So the Aggies now all of a sudden, they were down 11 to 9, and, and then all of a sudden now they've made some, some defenses changed a little. Well, yeah, I think it's what we've done is that we've inverted the game. We are playing really good defense and got them slowed down, which is uncharacteristic. We're pushing the ball. We're playing the up-tempo, and I think that's really got them off, off, off. Tempo a little. Into the game comes Shank, and he hasn't played all year. So the first time he's been in, he gets with numbers, Hayden Shank, redshirt freshman for them. And he's got the ball out here on the head of the key right. He hands it back to Fry. Fry with 13 to shoot. Yo-yo's on Jalen, goes in on Jalen, goes in deep, gets it blocked, goes back and gets it, and gets called for a jump Jump ball. Now Utah Valley will have it with eight to shoot. So Jalen blocked it, then he caught the ball, went up and scored. Yeah, that was a good call, but just late. Mm, so it was. <laughs> You'd have to call a walk if you didn't. So Jackson out front goes to Carr. They've taken out Marcel Davis for a moment. Dribble drive by Fry again. He goes all the way to the basket and puts it in. Connor's got six points already in the game. Again, junior out of Bountiful. So Shank is in from Eden. Played at Weber High School. All right, Grayson Moore between the circles. Over to Shane Rector. That stopped about a three-minute scoring drought. Here's a 15-footer by uh, him and blocked by Shank right away from the side as Rector didn't see him coming. So Shank brings it down on Shane Rector. Now the pass is deflected away by Julian or Jalen Moore up into the crowd as they tried to get it to Fry on the wing. 18-13 the score, 11:05, and 
Now Quinn Taylor is going to check in, the redshirt freshman for the Aggies from Houston, Texas. I don't know if that's the scouting report that Utah Valley's got on uh, uh, Rector, but that ball's awful low, and he got it down, blocked it. Clean. Easy block for him. Yeah. All right, Shank at the point, replacing Marcel Davis. He runs through. Jaden Jackson takes it down and runs with the ball. A travel call as he bumped into the Aggie. Oh, kind of similar to what happened to Connor Fry early in the game when he drove it down that right yeah, side. Yeah, but we're, 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 we've corrected that switch a little bit. We're a little tougher now on the switch. Both teams score turnovers at 10.52 to play first half. Aggies lead by third, uh, five, and here's Lou shooting it in for two. Evans has four points, about a 15-footer on the left angle, 20 to 13 Aggies. Utah State now man-to-man -man defense. Friday Jackson running through is a Cardwell is now checked in. Here comes Shank all the way to the basket. They strip him with the ball, but they also foul him going to the basket. I think it's going to be on called the foul on Rector. Yeah. Foul is on Shane and Rector. So Rector gets his first foul. His first fifth team foul. Well, they're going to keep coming. So Corey Car Cardwell is checked in, the 6'2 senior, played last year at Utah Valley. Free throw is good by Shank. So this is the first game this year that Shank has played for them. Wow, he, he's having fun. Redshirt freshman. Well, I'm sure with all the injuries, they probably had time to finally get him at least up to speed to be able to take over. He makes one out of two free throws. Rebound comes to Lou Evans. So Lou's come off the bench and done good things for the Aggies tonight. Yeah. He goes into the paint and then passes to Rector. Screens for Shane. Shane comes back on the left-hand wing to Jason uh, Grayson Moore. Grayson takes it all the way to the basket. They strip it away for a minute, but he gets it back to Rector in the corner, 14 to shoot. Rector against Jackson. Drives, pull up, 15-footer baseline. Good, and a foul. And an and one. What a shake and bake move by Shane Rector. Strong shot. I mean, that low delivery, but he got Jackson to poke in at him. So Rector makes it an eight-point lead for Utah State. And now Rector at the foul line on the year seven out of nine, 78%, just about as good a percentage as anybody in the Aggie team except for Kirtan, who's one for one. Yeah, well. <laughs> so Rector, of course, made the two big ones against Weber State, and he makes a three-point play. Gives the Aggies a nine-point lead over the Wolverines. Aggies extend a little pressure here. Connor Fry extends, brings it to front court, and then gets it back. Marcel Davis is back into the game. He comes back to Shank. So they got two point guards in, Shank and also in Davis. And Fry has it at the point right now for him as he goes left-hand side to Davis. And now Cardwell as well. So they're playing four guards in Hamilton, really, although Fry yeah, is they are a, four guards. There's a lob inside to Hamilton. Back to the basket with four. Spin around, shoot up with the left hand, miss it. Rebound, Quinn Taylor, Aggies. Get it off to Darius. Perkins brings it right far sideline. Brings it to the key. Hands back to Rector. Three-point launch by Shane. Back rim, no. Long rebound, Shank. Aiden Shank out of the backcourt with a pass to Davis right in front of the Aggie bench. 9.25 to play here in the first half. Free throw line, Davis goes back out front. Cardwell hand off the ball in the wing to Shank, down in the corner now. He dumps inside to Hamilton, goes right against Lou Evans with a left hand run and hook off the glass good. Wow. He's got four points, Darius does. Average is 11.3 for them, 23-16. Seven point lead for USU. Over UVU and another three by Lou Evans, left wing, good this time. He made a two from that spot, steps back about two feet and made it. He just said he could do that, remember? That's why sweetness denies well, sweetness. Sour. sour made the three, no, but that was no. a sweet shot, wasn't it? Sweetness on the three-point stroke. Okay. When he's down doing the muscle stuff, he's Yeah, he's, he's okay. got to sour up to go closer. All right, 26-16. Here's a dribble drive by Cardwell. He throws it back out front now to Fry for the long, long three. Does not go off the hand of Darius Perkins. Picked up by Shank. Shank backs and pass it off to Fry, who goes to the basket and scoops it in. He does never quit running. No, nope. he's a mover, boy. He's got and four. Shank's a lot like him. Shank's an active yep. player, too. Inter very interchangeable. That's eight points now. Here's another three by Evans on the left nope. wing. Right wing this time, Enough. he missed it. Rebound comes to Marcel, to the left wing. Missed shot with 8.13 to play. Now dump it in deep to Hamilton. Spins around on Lou Evans, spins back to the right side and puts up that hook again. This time missed it. Lou rebounds, stayed behind him. Eight minutes to play, first half. 26-18 Aggies. Rector around the screen. Back it goes to Quinn Taylor. Now Lou Evans, another what? three down the middle. And this time missed again. Yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. Yep, missed his last two. Now Connor Fry brings it all the way down. Runs in to Lou Evans for a charge. Lou takes the charge from him. Connor Fry's got his second personal foul. So we have a timeout 
And with seven minutes and 48 seconds to play, it's a 26-18 ball game. Utah State leads Utah Valley. And this is the Utah State Aggie Network. Some scores from last night, if you missed it, it was 77-75, UCLA making 10 for 10 for the foul line in the last minute and a half to beat UNLV by two over in Maui, Hawaii. Boise State beat Concordia 100 to 53. San Diego State got the 79-54 win over East Carolina last night after they lost to Little Rock over the weekend. So those are the scores last night. Les Olson Company brings you the scores. Your copiers and printers, the MVP of your office, your business empowered with the help of the seven locations, lesolson.com. Find out more. Cash Valley Bank stats right now. The Aggies shooting 11 of 19, three out of six from three. Lou Evans has just missed the last two. They were three out of four from three. 10 rebounds to eight for Utah Valley, and Utah Valley's eight for 16, so both teams shooting it pretty well. You know, shooting it pretty well. The Aggies are shooting it well all. 50% from three, 100% from the free throw line. Now offering more services, locations than ever. Logan to St. George, Cash Valley Bank. Fry's got of Perkins on the switch, and then Darius 17-footer, good. Nice little shake, crossover, and make it. 28-18, Aggies back to 10. That matches their biggest lead at 7:25 first half. All right, Marcel between the circles to Cardwell. Swings it over here on this side to Jackson. Jackson tries to drive where there was no room, and then it was Goodman going for the dunk. He didn't get it, but Jalen Moore called for the foul. Jalen said he didn't touch him, and then Goodman had missed the dunk try, but the foul on Jalen will be his first. So it'll be Ian Goodman at the free throw line again. And is a 5.5 scorer this year after we mentioned 1.3 last year. Made one out of two free throws so far in this game. Free throw by Goodman around and out. Boy, they're not, they're not good at the free throw line right now. Nobody has made two out of two for them while they've been up there. No. Goodman now one out of three. Davis 0 for two and Shank was one for two. Second one's in, so he did the same as the last time. For his, he's got two points now in the game. 28-19 Aggies. USU guard Rector brings it up and goes to Quinn Taylor on the left wing. Now Jalen over outside the arc left, goes to Rector on the right. Hand it back to Royds, try to get it to Quinn, uh, Quinn Taylor, and he got it taken away by Connor Fry on the steal. Then it's Marcel with a front court pass and a penetration move to the basket and a charge on Marcel Davis. He touched Quinn Tater, not very hard on that play, but he did run into him, and Quinn stayed there and took the charge. So Davis has his first foul of the game. So 6.55 to play first half. He got Ott in the game now. That is Tyler Ott, a sophomore out of St. George. He went originally to UC Davis before his church mission. Really? All right, Julian Perry's back in the game. Comes back to Jalen Moore. Where did he play down there? Played at uh, Desert Hills, I think okay. it was. A dribble drive, but we'll check it in a minute. Underneath here's Chris Smith with a charge. The same the call. Marcel takes it back at the other end, and Chris Smith's his second foul. Both touchy, calls touchy. made by Randy Heimerman. Yeah, let's see. Tyler Ott is from, I uh, thought I'd written it down. Yeah, Desert Hills. He's a 3A Hill. MVP. He lived in Japan for three years, born in St. Louis. Parents lived in Japan for a while, and then he went on a church mission and has come back to play at Utah Valley after that. No, oh, that's good. So 6.35 left to play in the first half. Already quite a few charges called in the game. Cardwell in the backcourt goes cross court. Shank brings it up. No, it's Jackson. Now front court to Connor Fry. Gets it back to Jackson between the circles. Right side in the corner. Fake the shot, dribble drive by Ott, and running out to get on him was Quinn Taylor for the foul. So Quinn Taylor gets his first foul, and the Aggies are over the limit. So it will be odd at the foul line. He's one out of two on the year for them, playing in his fourth game, and they're playing their fifth total game. He's a lefty, I see. He had one rebound against the Aggies, playing against the Aggies in the Gosner tournament when Davis was here a couple oh, years okay. ago. Free throw, he missed. Rebound, Julian Perry. So nobody, again, still stands up and makes one out of two for them, or makes two for two. Jalen Moore hand off the ball to his brother. Grayson takes it to the left-hand side to Shane Rector, 20 to shoot. Rector off the screen for Quinn Taylor. Back on the left, it comes to Perry. Julian drives it into the paint, goes to the basket, hooks it up, gets it blocked away, but Quinn Taylor got the rebound of Taylor, puts it off the glass. I like, I like those big guys that roam around down into the back. Good things happen. Six-minute mark, Aggies by 11, their biggest lead. Fry for three on the right wing, got it. 
Fry already with 11 of their 22. 30 to 22 the score, 5.45 in the first. Fry has 11 played against his old team. Grayson Moore over on the right to Julian Perry. Back to Shane Rector, screen from Taylor. Shane uses it, penetrates on the right, pass it cross court now to Moore with 13 to shoot, gives it to his brother Jalen. Jalen now drives to the paint, go to the basket, put it up, blocked away at the rim, and foul called on Ott, trying to pick him up down the middle. So the Aggies have got their uh, offense on the side and trying to create some penetration down the middle, doing very well at it. So now Jalen Moore at the foul line. Jalen has one basket in the game. He had 14 against his team last year with seven rebounds down in Orem and the free throw in. Remember, the Aggies had to rally back late in that game to win down there, 50 to 47 last year. They were behind a lot of the game. 31-22 as Moore makes the free throw. And Taylor is out. Lou Evans back in. Second one by Jalen, in and out. Lou fights, gets the rebound. Evans brings it out of there. I thought he was going to shoot it. He ran out of the three-point line. <laughs> Quit it, I Lou. I think he knows he's got to pass <laughs> I think it the next been, time. I think he's been sitting for a minute. He knows. Grayson on the left side. There Screen, he is. Pick and roll. Oh. It went right through Levin's hands out of bounds, though. Was, boy, Grayson threw a and really hard pass. And off his nose, too. Yeah. Really hard pass right there. So the Aggies turn it over. That's seven turnovers for the Aggies, I think, in the first half. Yep, seven. All right, Cardwell goes cross court with a pass to Ott. Ott, left-hander across the timeline. Now Marcel Davis gets it out front. Aggies in zone defense. Around the screen, Cardwell uh, gets it. Cardwell gets the pass back to Fry and open one-hander from 15. In and out for Connor. Rebound comes off to Jalen. Jalen gets it to Rector. Rector up the floor, and then Rector all the way to the hoop. Missed it. Tap, Lou Evans, no. Second, yes. Lou Evans needed two to get it in. Evans has nine, Marcel gets it down the floor, under the basket, the shot is missed by Jackson, rejected away by Grayson Moore, Lou Evans brings it, the trailer is Julian Perry, three-pointer by Julian, good! Perry hits the three, timeout for Utah Valley as the Aggies go up by 14. Four and a half minutes left to play, so is this the full timeout? It is a full timeout. So 4.30 left to play, 36-22 the score and a timeout on the floor for the full timeout. This is the Aggie Basketball Network. A fast break, early offense and some set offense. Uh, our last two buckets have been putbacks by our big guys that are finally finding where they belong and that's inside a little bit. Lou Evans nine, Chris Smith with nine lead the Aggies. Connor Fry already 11 for Utah Valley of 11 of their 22 for the former Aggie. And he only played four games, but boy, he practiced all year last year. They loved his help in practice. Scout squad, any whatever. He got in the rotation a little bit with some injuries and all too. Shank takes it down to the right-hand wing. Shank brings it out against the Aggie zone defense, goes in the corner. Three-point shot is on the way. It's short by Cardwell, rebounded under the basket by, again, Shank. Gets it in the corner, and the jump shot by Jackson is good. So finally, Jaden Jackson makes a three. That's his sixth one of the year. So 36-22, I guess they call that a two. It's only a two-point basket. Only a two, huh? Okay. Julian out on the right-hand side, gets the handoff from Jalen Moore, comes cross-court to Grayson Moore. Give it back now to Darius Perkins playing the point. He's on the left wing. He'll penetrate, go in the paint, find the man in the corner. Great catch by Julian Perry, the one hand. Kind of stuck out like a catcher's mitt. Shoots, missed, tap in, no! Oh, it's rammed in by Grayson Moore. Grayson has five, that's a new career high. Aggies by 13. Now Connor Fry's gonna penetrate, kick it back to Davis. Over on the left to Jackson. Now Jackson penetrates in the P, and a teardropper is good by Jaden Jackson. He's got five. We're trying to sit in a half a zone. Uh, not very active right now when you get that kind of penetration. 38-27, 3.20 left in the first half. We'll have to see how many kills, if any, they make in this game. Yeah. Tim talked about that, three straight stops. They call it a kill. Lob out of the top by Darius, way too hard. Saved back, though, by Utah Valley to Marcel Davis, I think it was Jackson underneath. Marcel penetrates on Perkins, throws it in the corner. Shot was not taken by Cardwell, but Jackson will take the long three and drain it again. Way out on the left wing. So Jaden Jackson now with eight points, and it's a 38-30 ball game. Aggies had a 14-point lead, and now Tim Durie wants the timeout, so we'll take a 30-second coach's timeout. 2.50 to play first half. Utah State 38, Utah Valley 30 on the Aggie Basketball Network. 
Couple of uh, local scores on our scoreboard. The Logan High boys opened tonight, beat Ogden 78-60, and the Skyview girls opened up with a 53-50 win over Brighton in a Hall of Fame tournament going on down at Juan Diego High School. So a couple of local scores. Here's Julian Perry, top of the key with a screen from Lou Evans, and they wrap around to try to take the ball away, and the foul called on Shank. The score is brought to you by the Kent Law Group in Logan. Serious car crash, personal injury, dog bite, call Daniel Kent at the Kent Law Group, 855 385-6463. Now, Alex Carr checks back into the game for the Wolverines. Julian Perry at the foul line to shoot the one and one with 2.40 left first half. Utah Valley is uh, three for three on their field goals, the last trend for them. They made their last three shots. We've got a lot of people scoring right now, Al. Perry made the free throw right there. So Julian has four. Everybody for the Aggies who has played has scored yeah. tonight. It's incredible. And for Utah Valley, Carr hasn't scored, Cardwell hasn't scored. And both free throws in by Perry. Julian with five points, 40-30 Utah State, first half. So again, Utah Valley plays normally a high pace to uh, basketball. They average 77, give up 70. Here's another three by Jackson. He had it going and then he missed it. And then Lou Evans taps it off to Darius for the rebound. Perkins brings it up for the Aggies. Leaves it back to Jalen Moore of the trailer. Jalen drives on Connor Fry, bumps into him. No, that's Shank, and he lays it in. I thought it was against his old teammate. I like that move. He saw a mismatch. He could take that to the well. Five now for Moore. Down the middle, Fry. He hooks it up, and he's going to get the foul on Lou Evans late as he got down past one defender, and Lou tried to pick him up. So Evans has two fouls. Already early, Elston Jones got two fouls. So it will be free throws for Connor Fry, and he's... Shot 16 of them this year, made 12 for Utah Valley. He had a double-double one game this year. His free throw is in, 12 points for him. Now Quinn Taylor in for Lou Evans, so the Aggies have to use Quinn at the five. Now I don't know who's playing four. Is it Grayson or Jalen? It'll be Jalen, and then Grayson will be at three. Okay. 42-31 the score, and Fry almost airballed the second when Quinn Taylor got the rebound. So they still haven't got anybody who stepped up there and made two no, free they, throws in a row for Mark Pope's team. Big difference in this game right now is yeah. their free throw shooting. They'd be a little bit in the more in the game. 11-point Aggie lead, Perkins out on the left-hand wing. Yeah. Darius, yo-yoing, now he'll shoot it over his man. Lip the cup, doesn't get it. Rebound yanked away by Fry from Shank. Fry brings it, he'll take it all the way. He goes into the paint and he gets the foul on the drive. I'll tell Didn't you. Didn't look like there was any contact there. He came right between the guys and the other officials kind of looked around and Quinn Taylor gets called for the foul. I don't think he did anything on that play. Uh, they better they better start backing up. He's, he's, he's put, picking up his team about 30 feet away. You know he's you coming. Can, yeah, I, I could see he was coming when he had brought out <laughs> did the court, court in the backcourt. I think now back for two free throws, Connor Fry. Aggies already with 10 fouls in the game in the first half. Free throw by Connor Fry, no good again. Wowie. So nobody will make two in a row still. Goodman checks in for Shank. So Shank goes out with one point. 142 left first half. 11 point lead Utah State. Fry misses both free throws. Quinn Taylor rebounds. He's missed three in a row now at the line. Yeah, that's not great for him. 42-31. Jalen Moore pops out on Connor Fry. Hand off the ball to his brother Grayson. Goes back in the corner, Julian Perry. Spins, doesn't shoot. Tries to get it to Jalen Moore, and it goes off Jalen's hands out of bounds. Dan uh, Goodman slipped it away first, and then Jalen didn't catch it clean, and then knocked it out of bounds trying to grab the loose ball. So nine turnovers for the Aggies in the first half. That's not handling it well no, at all. That's not. Minute 20 first half. Fry over to the left. Jackson runs through, Davis at the point, covered by Darius. And J Davis goes great pass underneath, and then it's blocked away from the side by Quinn Taylor. Taylor comes up with the ball, gets it to Darius Perkins. Perkins leads it between his legs to Grayson Moore, who drives underneath, and a reverse hook shot under the glass was no good. He's got way too far underneath. Yeah. Rebound to Jackson for Utah Valley. Wolverine pass to Jackson on the wing. He had Marcel cut underneath. Jackson goes back on the angle, now Goodman. 20 to shoot, 49 seconds first half. Connor Fry for three on the left wing. It's no good, Darius boards for the Aggies. All right, Utah State brings it down. 40 seconds left first half, leading by 11 still, 42-31. It's been kind of that for a while. Yeah. All right, Jalen out front. Hand the ball to Julian Perry. 
29, 28 to shoot, 15 on the shot clock. All right, here comes Darius to get the ball and set it up. 10 to shoot. Darius takes it over to the right with eight, with seven. Screen, Quinn Taylor. Darius down the left side and he gets the foul reach in on Goodman. Boy, what a bad mistake. You're down in the shot clock and you get uh, just a really bad foul. Out, yeah, out trying to reach across the body yeah, where way Darius out. was way not in a position he to shoot it or did anything he, with he, it. He was heading for the bench. Mm -hmm. He dribbling towards the sideline. All right, so Darius Perkins with two free throws here and 16.9 left first half. He makes the first one. Yeah, his shot's back a little bit better, don't you think? Yep. Yeah. Cardwell checks back in for Utah Valley. Blue Friday weekend is here. You heard about black, but how about lots of favorite Aggie gear? Slashed and discounted for Christmas shopping at Locker 42, both locations on Friday, on Blue Friday, and this weekend, of course, with Aggie football at home as well. Darius makes both free throws. Rector will come in for Perkins. 16.9 to play first half. USU by 13. Last shot for Utah Valley here in the first half, trailing by 13. 16 seconds to go. Marcel in the corner. Jackson back to Marcel Davis under the basket. He throws out in the corner. Three-point launch is in and out. Rebound Davis. Davis loses the ball, comes back and gets it, turns around, shoots it. It's an air ball. Rebounded by Fry with two seconds left first half. He puts it up. It's short again. And the end of the first half. Utah State 44-31 over Utah Valley in the first half of play. Connor Fry thought he got fouled on that play. All right, that's the first half in the books. And we'll talk halftime activities and other things as we come back. This is the Aggie Basketball Network.